Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com and today we're going to take a look at the new 285cc from Everglades Boats. The new 285cc measures in at 30 feet 1 inch long overall with the engines and she has a 9 foot 6 inch beam. With the engines up she draws 24 inches and when they're down the number goes up to 35 inches. Dry weight with engines is listed at 9,200 pounds and full of fluids and gear she has an estimated weight of 11,100 pounds. She carries 200 gallons of fuel and 20 gallons of fresh water. The 285cc is powered by twin Yamaha outboards up to 600 horsepower combined. Looking at some numbers provided by Everglades, the twin 300 horsepower outboards push the 285cc to a top speed of 55.4 miles per hour. Best crews came in at 3500 RPM where the boat ran 30.1 miles per hour and burned 18.4 gallons per hour. This translated to 1.64 miles per gallon in a range of 312 statute miles with 5% of the boat's fuel capacity held in reserve. Like all Everglades, she's built with ramp cab construction that uses high density foam blocks bonded into the hull for a solid ride in offshore conditions. During testing and validation for the boat, Everglades personnel put the 285cc through quite a shakedown. It started with a run from the Everglades headquarters in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and that was followed by a jaunt to Fort Myers via the Okeechobee Waterway. From Fort Myers, the crew headed down to Key West and to Ocean Reef before heading back up the east coast to Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. Then the 285cc made the 60 mile run to Bimini in the Bahamas to meet the Everglades fleet at the company's rendezvous. In addition to putting runtime on the boat, many Everglades employees fished the 285cc with family and friends. When it's time to relax, there's space in the bow for four people to sit without feeling crowded. Notice the wraparound bolsters and the backrest for the seat on the front of the console. One of the new cruising features is the rotating leaning post. It spins to provide twin aft-facing seats. Beneath the protection of the hardtop, the helm has space for two to sit behind the integrated glass windshield. In the cockpit, seats fold in front of the transom so anglers can relax during the run to and from the fishing grounds. Angling features include live wells in each aft corner, open deck space, and bolsters that ring the cockpit. The hull side door to port will come in handy for a myriad of uses. As we've come to expect from Everglades, the new 285cc combines stout construction with cruising and fishing features and active family wants. We're looking forward to getting our hands on her, so keep an eye out for a full evaluation. Until then, for BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.